go ahead and give everybody a great big Shabbat Shalom. We are live. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Good to be back. Uh, it's not over mm. it. Praise you. Praise you. All right. Those through. of you, those <laughs> of you um, that are just now joining us, thank you. Welcome to the fellowship. We've been on for a minute. But um, again, I like to have an intimate, personal time before we go live. Sometimes we go longer than usual. Um, you are invited. You got to go to HebrewConnect.org forward slash events, and you can go ahead and um, join us as well. Um, it, this is a platform that is for the Hebrew Israelite man and woman. Um, and uh, we deal with real issues and um, again, we invite you to come and join us to fellowship, especially if you have, if you have questions. Oftentimes you may have questions and feel like um, you need some answers to some serious questions. And that's something that we can do as appropriate. We can deal with some of those issues. Um, so all praise to the Most High. Yeah. Go ahead and check. One last thing. Good to go. To all the um, moderators, thank you very much. All right. Shabbat Shalom. We got Dwayne Machette, Oil of Joy Music. We got Stardust Studios. And we got Alicia. Praise ya. And Crystal, I see you there. Praise ya. So um, as you come in, please go ahead and give us a like. Appreciate that. And... Um, yeah, get, throw, throw a Shabbat Shalom or Hallelujah in the chat. I greatly appreciate that. Um, let's let's go ahead and get this in. All praise to the Most High, yeah. Um, we're going to be in the book of Luke, starting off in chapter 12. And um, I'll be sharing my screen in a minute. But before I do that, I will be praying. And so, um, everybody, please have your heart and your mind on the Most High, yeah. All right. And... I'm definitely going to be lifting up those that are going to be viewing this live right now. and Those that are uh, going to see this in the future. All right. We'll lift them up in prayer uh, because we definitely need it um, in, in this, in this world right now. Um, but all praises to the Most High Yah for the remnant of the house of Israel and just the Shalom that we're able to have in the midst of the storm and all this craziness going on. So all praises to the Most High Yah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Abi, I thank you right now for this time that my brothers and my sisters and I have this opportunity to come before your throne of grace, mercy, and judgment. I thank you. I lift up each and every household represented here today, those that are watching online. I praise your name and thank you for them right now. I ask for your hand of shalom to be upon them, your hand of healing to be upon them, your hand of restoration to be upon them, your hand of provision to be upon them. And if anyone is dealing with any type of illness, sickness, or disease, Abaya, I pray that the root of that matter be exposed unto them and that they're able to resolve that issue and that you're able to manifest true healing within them right now. I come against every satanic and demonic force, every spirit, every little imp that will try to seduce them away or speak a curses over their life. Right now, I speak life unto them. We here in this platform, in this assembly, we speak life to these, your people. We magnify your name. We raise up holy hands and we praise your name, thanking you for all that you're doing in and through our lives and the lives of our children. We offer up our children unto you, Abba Yah, because you are the one that have gifted us with these precious children. We lift them up to you and we ask you to intervene and have your will in their life, that you come against these satanic and demonic forces, that you renew their heart, their mind, and their spirit to receive your word, your word of life, your word of love. We pray that you connect them with righteous men and women, righteous boys and girls in their life that will speak life into them and influence them for righteousness and to put away wickedness. We live in an age where righteousness is counted as wickedness and wickedness is counted as righteousness. We know that we are living in these last days, but Abba Yah, we trust in you and we thank you for all that you're doing in and through our lives. And we thank you right now that as we steward over what you have provided for us, we know that you will give us the increase and that you will protect us to keep 
what you have given over to us, sacred, protected, and whole. Again, Abba Yah, I thank you for your manifested healing being made manifest in the life of these, your people. I thank you for it being done right now. And may the hearing of this word be met with joy and received with gladness. I pray this all now in the name of your son, our King and Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High. Again, Hallelujah. thank you for those of you joining us here live. Um, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, let everybody know that we're here. Go ahead and share this on your other platforms because the reality is this. These, these live fellowships are not guaranteed. They've never been guaranteed. Uh, those of you on this platform and those of you that are watching online, or watching the future, understand that um, I pray that you you take value in these uh, fellowships and the prayers and the lessons that go forth because you must understand. You truly must understand. Um, don't get into the mindset that things will always be this way because that's not a guarantee. You need to go in with life trusting and just seeking the most high that Yah's will be done and Yah willing will be able to go forward. Um, this has never been guaranteed, but the most high has been faithful to enable me to continue working, providing for my household, spending time with my, my wife and my children, while also dedicating an enormous amount of time to you all and, um, you know, getting everything set up with the, the online platforms and things like that. So, um, you know, I appreciate those of you that keep me in prayer because I need it. I'm very, very grateful for those of you that keep me in prayer, that you take a moment out of your day to pray for me and my household um, so that the will of the Most High can be fulfilled in my life and that I'm able to be a blessing to you, my brothers and my sisters. So I, I do want to thank you. Those of you that give faithfully to this ministry, I want to thank you as well. I greatly appreciate uh, what you're doing because um, as the Most High blesses you and enables you to give into this ministry, we are also able to give into others within the house of Israel that truly have a need. All right. Um, there are folks that just got their hand out, scammer type folks that always hitting you up for money just because. Um, but there are people that real have real needs and issues. Um, and we do our best to connect with those people and make sure that everyone's taken care of. So all praise to the Most High Yah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and um, and I'm going to try to keep this tight. I don't want to keep us here too, too late. It's 540 Pacific Standard Time. So it's probably what, 840 Eastern Standard Time. So I don't want to keep you guys too, too late. I appreciate the time that you have given so far. Um, let me see, get this going. Do want to... Do a brief intro here. Praise you. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you at? Hmm. All right, let me go ahead and figure this. Oh. Gotta love technology, right? <laughs> you think I figured it out by now? Sometimes you have those days. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. And let me go from there. All right, Frazier. All right, that's me. Ministry is Biblical Hebrew Awakening. I also have two platforms that I've been working on for at least two years now, which is pretty amazing. I haven't done anything to really celebrate like that, but I should, probably should. Um, HebrewConnect.com is available for those of you looking to connect with your brothers and sisters. Um, there's a lot that you can do on that platform, and I've done some upgrades last night um, that will be beneficial for the House of Israel. So definitely, if you do not have an account, you can uh, create an account today. You can also, uh, for the web, you can log in via Twitter, Facebook, or Google.
for your login, just log in like you normally would, and it'll create an account profile for you. Same thing applies to Hebrew Connect TV, which is a video sharing platform. Um, both of these platforms are platforms that are designed for us to where you can share unfiltered, um, minimal censorship, but just don't be don't be uh, lawless and and sharing the most. Um, but as far as like vulgarities and 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 um, stuff that's like taking things a little too far, but for the most part. You know, you're not going to be censored on these platforms. You'll be able to share um, and, and connect with your brothers and sisters. The main thing is edifying your brothers and sisters and building. Um, it's not so much to wake folks up because you're preaching to the choir. This is where the choir hangs out to connect and build and grow. If you have a ministry and you want to get connected with other brews throughout the earth, you plan on traveling, this is definitely a place you want to build and grow. Okay. Um, Keep going here. All right, I'm gonna jump on here real quick <clears throat> just to highlight so we can all remember where we at. All right, so um, we've gone through many, many lessons. This is lesson 32 of our Torah Foundation Studies. And I just wanted to show everybody, remind everybody, where are we at right now in regards to the year and the season on this map, on this chart that you see here? Where are we at? What's it look like? Are we in stage one, two, three, or four of the year? Two. Yeah. Oh, my got some digital. Uh, so I'll, I'll address that in a minute. We are at two. We are right here. All right. So we've gone through the Hebrew calendar. The Hebrew year starts in the spring. All right. Well, we're coming out of the, we're coming out of the dead of winter. And now you're starting to get new growth, fresh green starting to come upon the earth and so on and so forth. And we've transitioned to the height of the year, which is going to be summertime. So we are right there. And this is where you're getting to the fullness of the year, the fullness of the four seasons right here. All right. So all praises to the most high. Yah. This is a time of great beauty. Um, you're going to be able to get, you know, longer days. I mean, some some places. You know, it's five o'clock in the morning and the sun is up and it's a beautiful thing. You know, 448, the sun is, is rising. So um, or then all at the end point in time, sunset is at 930 p.m. All right. You try and go to sleep or thought you was going to go to sleep and the sun's still up. So um, we are at the height of the of the season, the height of the year. And then in a few more months, we will transition from the summer season to fall or autumn all right and again this is the highlight morning the fullness of the day the erev and the hosech all right so you have the beginning of light breaking your yom bokotov you have yom tov erev tov it's your evening the mixture Erev or Ereb is the mixture of light and darkness, all right? And then you go into the darkness right there. And that's equivalent to springtime, summertime, autumn or fall, and then the dead of winter, what's darkness and night, all right? All praise to the Most High Yah for the seasons. And we're going to continue with that here fairly soon as the Most High wills. All right, there is uh, the ministry websites you can get connected, or I'm sorry, the uh, ministry emails. So uh, reach out to me if you want to get connected, if you want to reach out to me for whatever your needs might be, um, ministry at hebrewconnect.com. There are a few people, a few ministries that have reached out to me. I received your emails and I will be responding back to you. Um, so be on the lookout for my responses. Um, those of you that are seeking prayer, you can put your prayer request there at prayer at HebrewConnect.com. And uh, we actively pray for you. We try to respond to each and every one, but we're not always able to get through every last one because of the sheer amount of emails that we get. But we are definitely praying for you. If you just have general questions, um, you can go ahead and send an email to info at HebrewConnect.com. All right. Here, let me move this out the way. Here are the um, 
websites you can go to to get connected with me and each other. HebrewConnect.org is the organizational website for this ministry. All right. HebrewConnect.com is the, um, again, the social networking uh, platform. And then HebrewConnect.tv is the video sharing platform. Let's keep going. There is, move it down real quick. There is a screenshot of Hebrew Connect. That's my personal um, profile page. So if you see that, that's me. You can go ahead and um, message me and I'll reach back as able. All right. This is Hebrew Connect TV. This is a share from uh, Call to Truth channel. Very good channel. I definitely recommend you check it out on Hebrew Connect TV. Um, very good content and um, there's a lot, lot to do. All right. Uh, Preja, we've been able to hit a milestone within uh, this ministry. Hebrew Connect TV is available on Android as an app. So you can download uh, Hebrew Connect TV on your Android phone today. So obviously it's free and um, you have all the capabilities you have on the website um, are there in your mobile app and it's very convenient. And um, yeah, definitely check it out. Um, join up and um, really just kind of get fed off of righteous content, stuff that's going to um, edify your mind and, and, and really the entire platform is focused on the house of Israel. Um, and I have been blessed to have a relationship with many of the people on that platform and um, have been very grateful to, to see how the most high is moving in their, in their life. So definitely go check out Hebrew connect TV at the Google play store. It's available now for download. All right. And when you do that, that's what you should see. And it'll give you some information about the app, so on and so forth. All right. Boom. All right. This is part 32 of our Torah Foundation Studies. Understanding. All right. We are live on YouTube and um, other platforms, Hebrew Connect, Hebrew Connect TV. And we're going to jump right in here. Go with me to go with me to Luke chapter 12. And I want to just hit one brief little thing here. Uh, this is kind of where we're at right now. All right. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're going to go to Luke chapter 12, starting off in verse um, 13. All right. And I'm going to share my screen. And uh, y'all willing, once I'm done with this, um, we're going to go ahead and um, also give opportunity for testimonies. Okay. So if anybody of you, any of those of you here on the platform have a testimony, um, I'll definitely jump in, let you guys have an opportunity to share a testimony. Okay. All right, praise y'all. Here we go. Um, let me get two readers, if you wouldn't mind. Two readers. I can't see you right now, so you got to talk to me and volunteer yourself can, if you want to do it. I can read. I can. All right. I got Leon and, and I think that's Crystal. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. All right, sir. praise y'all. Uh, go ahead, uh, Leon. Start reading uh, from 13. I'll tell you when to stop. And one of the companies said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Say that verse 15 one more time. And he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not 
in the abundance of the things which he possessed, possesses. Okay. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. <clears throat> but Elohim said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward Yah. Man, and he, stop right there. Mm -hmm. Let that sink in. First of all, this is a parable from, from, from the word of Yah himself. I mean, you got the, the, the first brother that came to him and was like, hey, tell, tell, you know, break this, break bread, basically. Tell my family to break this inheritance off for me. And you got to understand that when you're dealing with the Most High, he cares about the motive of your heart. You have a rightful inheritance. It's not an issue of you having an inheritance. Even within the house of Israel, we have an inheritance. But you got to understand whether you think you woke or not, whether you're a Hebrew Israelite and all this type of stuff. If your heart stank, if your heart and the motive of your heart is not good, he's going to see you right through that. He's not going to really be bothered with you on that level. You know what I'm saying? And, and this also goes into, in all things, Seek the will of the Most High. Yeah, you don't know whether you're going to wake up tomorrow morning or not. You know, some of y'all were shocked and surprised you woke up today. I'm like, oh, man, I'm still here. Okay. Amen. What are we going to do today? You know, praise y'all for the Sabbath. We here. You know what I'm saying? Getting this fellowship on. And so it's very imperative that you seek the Most High in all that you do. All right. Because you know not when your soul shall be required of you. Now, another aspect of this goes into, um, do you have a family that you can bestow what the most has provided for you to your children? And I, I say this because there are some people that um, they're not looking at the big picture of life and everybody's life and their life story is different and the most high will move in different ways for you. But um, it's, it, it's a call to your life to raise up a family, all right? So you can either raise up a, a, a literal physical family of yourself, or you can adopt children. Many of you have adopted children um, through the years, or, you know, you're maybe a foster, foster camp parent or something like that. But it comes down to um, there's a, a minority of people within the house of Israel um, or within the Hebrew nation, whether they woke or not, that they basically have been chasing the bag. And you have nothing, you have nobody to even bestow that bag to. You chasing no after the wind. Um, you prioritize getting money over building solid relationships and don't recognize that when you're 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, and ain't nobody there around you. You sit up in a, in a room by yourself with nobody to come visit you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you neglected building your family for what? Now, again, uh, you know, families come in many ways. You could have your literal children. You could adopt children. You, you know, there's different things that the Most High is able to do. But the bottom line is, and me speaking this to you right now, is I want you and this is to some of y'all out here that you're just, it's the motive of your heart. You're just chasing the bag. Even in this, we live in, in the book of Revelations, Mark of the Beast, and you're focused on chasing after the bag. Get your provision. I'm not saying don't get your provision, but please understand um, you don't want to be sitting like this man and got the most high telling you, you fool, this night thy soul shall be required of you. Then who shall those things be? which thou hast provided. You over there stacked up like Uncle Scrooge. 
and don't what you're doing. All right. So life is more than just stacking up bags of cash. OK, um, meaningful relationships are important. And this goes for men and women, because, again, it applies to both. Um, don't just chase the bag. While you're chasing the bag or you're getting your funds, make sure you're also um, building quality relationships that will last throughout your lifetime. All right. Um, because, you you know, I just feel led to speak that because I know it's a real serious issue that people um, they don't really recognize till it's too late. All right. So don't let that be you. All right. Um, Crystal, go ahead, please start reading in verse 22. Thank you, Leon. I appreciate the reading of that word. And he said unto his disciples, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. The life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow no, nor wheat, which neither have storehouse nor barn. And Yahuwah feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take you thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you, and Solomon in all glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then Yahuwah so clothes the grass, which is to today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he close you? Oh, ye of little faith. And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what shall ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nation of the world seek after. And <clears throat> your father knows that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahuwah, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that you have and give alms. Provide yourself bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that fails not, where no thief approaches, neither moth corrupts. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Amen. Now All right. So thank you for the reading of that word. And um, what it comes down to, there's so much into this. Um, that last verse right there, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And then... Verse 28. Read verse 28 one more time, please. And then, you who is so close to grass, which is to day in the field, and to morrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he close you, O ye of little faith? All right, so right there, O ye of little faith. Let's talk about that. What is faith? What is the Hebrew word for faith? Imana. And what does Imana mean in the Hebrew, best of your understanding? Yeah, your trust or hope in him in his word to my understanding. Good, but go deeper. More just the root of the word itself, not account in the connotations of biblical. Just what the meaning of, of imuna. What is that what does that break down to when you when you break down imuna? Mm. And this is open to the entire panel. You don't, you don't gotta be on the oh. <laughs> okay. to answer it. This is for I'm not I'm not putting you on the spot. This is for everybody. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Strong belief in God. What else you got? Like that? 
Emma Doris, go ahead, please. To walk out in action, what instructions you said you believe you said to do. All right, very good. Anybody else? Faith, just fear, just pure faith. Just faith, pure faith. To know, to know deep within your heart that the most high is going to do what he said he's going to do and to not have any doubt about it whatsoever. And we don't see him, but we know him. He speaks to us. And just like if our parents said that they were going to do something to us and we know they're going to do it, we got to have that faith in Yah, just like that, that he is going to deliver us. To me, that's faith. And not to um, try not to walk in your own strength and your own right, your own righteous um, belief Amen. because you're not giving room to you who are. Amen. Very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, the scriptures say that uh, faith is the assured expectation of realities not beheld. Things unseen. That's one version of it. I can see that. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Anybody else? To do as directed by the Most High, regardless of what it looks like. I like that. I wouldn't say that's uh, directly tied purely to Imuna, but I get it. I'm looking for Imuna. Not so much a, a biblical connotation uh, laid over it, but literally imuna. It's 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 like when Abraham um, left his family blinded, not knowing where he was, his direction. He was, it was like downloaded in him as he was going, like blind. Yeah, blind. He's just like literally blind. <laughs> In a, okay. in a sense of direction. Um, also, it's, like, it's, still, it's still going with the biblical connotations layering over it. I'm looking for the just the core. Lisa, I'll get you next, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna ask one last question. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lisa. Um, full belief and uh, reliance in Yah through action. All right, same thing. Uh, it's a good answer but it's still more of a biblical connotation layered over it. I'm just looking for the core of it. So let me help you out a little bit. What is the root word of imunah? Some of y'all got to pull out the crate, pull out some, some. What is the root word of imunah? The biblical Hebrew root word of imuna. We say it all the time. I say it all the time. Obedience. Hey. Nope. What is the actual Hebrew word? What is the root word of imuna? Faith. Hey. Nope. Is it faith? Imuna is the hey. is faith. Imuna is faith. I'm asking, what is the root word of imuna? Oh, nah. I think Miss Smack Devil got it. What is it? Nah. You don't got it? I don't. Is that is that the root? Nah. <laughs> no. Is it ah? Uh? I'm guessing. No. You move. <laughs> you closer than anybody else so far. It gotta be move. Is it emo? Belief. No. Amen. Boo boo. Amen is the root word of imuna. The word amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. What does amen mean? That's the root word of imuna. So be it. So be it. So be it. Let it be established. So be it. I support that. Right? To be deeply rooted, to be established, to be affirmed, right? That's the the root word of imuna is amen. All right, amen. That's why our, our, our people, our ancestors say amen. Let the assembly say what? Amen. Okay. A imuna.
is an extension of a man. Emuna, a man, emuna. You can look at it in Hebrew, it's just, it's the root word. It's about security. It's about being deeply rooted and established to be affirmed. And so that's what faith is. It's an extension of that firm foundation and belief. I go through that long exercise with y'all so you know you're not just saying some words don't know what they mean or you're just slapping on some biblical connotation to it that it sounds good. You need to know the biblical root of the word. You Imunah is faith. All right. The root of faith or Imunah is that foundation, that establishment, that hard and firm, secure Right. And so when Yahusha is, is speaking here and he says, oh, ye of little faith. That's why I want to stop there real quick. If the Elohim so clothed the grass, which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast in the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? Meaning in regards to you have little trust, little security, little foundational um, security in the word or in Elohim. Mm -hmm. You're not secure in your Elohim. That faith is not that the works of, of your, of your security is not there because that's what faith is. I mean, that's the core of the faith. That's the core of it is that you're acting on that secure belief you have in knowing. Like, I know my Elohim is going to take care of me and provide for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so because you operate in that space, you start moving certain types of way and you get off, you get off track. So I want to stop there. That's Luke 12, 28. And then 12, 34, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now, there have been many uh, pastors that have tried to use that to fleece the flock for money. <laughs> to be like, hey, kick down some dollar bills because, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't about the business, the kingdom business, then you you ain't, the, hey, where's your bag at? Where's your, go to, toss the bag to me, right? And I want you to understand that the core message of that is not throwing some money at somebody, Okay. It's not saying you can't give into ministries or people that are doing great things for the kingdom. But what it's talking about is your heart should be on the kingdom business, period. That's that's where your 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 everything is going to be. It's like that's the reason why some people can't stand you, because your your life and your heart is deeply rooted in this kingdom business. You don't got time to be in these streets. And be out here doing this wickedness these other folks is doing. It's like, man, do you not talk about anything other than the Bible? Anything other than Yah? All I hear is Yah this, Yah that. Everything you talk about is Yah. Don't you talk about something else? Listen, all I need to listen, if we ain't talking about the most high Yah and the kingdom and his people and what we doing, then I don't need to be talking to you like that. You know what I'm saying? And so it's very important. He's talking about, listen. This is where your heart's going to be at. It's going to be, it's not just tossing the bag to somebody. It's about this lifestyle. It's about this lifestyle. This is not a religion. This is your heritage. This is your culture. And then, by the way, there's an actual covenant tied to this thing. So you, you just, you, you clicked in. You can't click out. I mean, you can try to click out if you want to, but we truly been living the fallout of breaking covenant with our Elohim. Right. So, you know, it's one of those things where um, all praise to the most high Yah for his revelation that we as his covenant people should have faith in what he has in store for us, his people. We should be secure in him that regardless what may come. We read about it in uh, Numbers chapter 24 and 25. We read about it in the book of Josephus, Antiquities of the Hebrews, where even Balaam talked to Balak that you're not going to listen. There's no war that can kill these Hebrew Israelites. 
There's no famine on this earth that can kill these Hebrew Israelites. You will never be able to utterly destroy these people, no matter what you do. The most you may be able to do is trip them up for a little while, but you may live to regret it because when you do, to your horror and dismay, they will rise up in the end and they will have retribution against you by the power and authority yeah. and the anointing of their Elohim. Amen. Is it really worth it? I don't think so. It ain't worth it. And just know, Israel, that the Most High is your provision. He's your protector. He's your source. No matter what you go through right now in this season, no matter what you see, I don't care what's going on. You can open your blinds and see a hurricane, a typhoon, tornado, rocket, man, uh, comet launch, uh, whatever, coming through the skies and be in total shalom in your space because you know the Most High has you secure. He has you protected and you have that imunah faith to believe and trust in him. Hallelujah. You trust in him. He's your Elohim. He's your mighty power. He's amen, your strong. Amen, amen. He's Appreciate the rock of your salvation. So why am I going to fear and sweat? I know, listen, as long as I keep my ear in tune with his voice, I make wise choices and decisions, and I'm heeding his call for my life, we're going to be all right. The only way we get tripped up is when we out here trying to live like these heathens. We over here following the heathens for advice on what we should be doing instead of falling on your knees and going in prayer. Facts. Go and seek the most high in prayer for your life, for your situation, and let him speak to you. Spend more time honing your ear spiritually to hear from him and then obey. Me personally, I'm tired of hearing folks being like, well, I heard something, but I wasn't sure if it was him or not. Well, that means you stay praying hard enough. You need to pray effectively. You don't even need to be praying for 13 hours and 12 hours and six hours. Are you consistent in your prayer life in this age, in this moment? Because when every, if let's say all the books is burnt up, roasted, destroyed, flooded out, melted down, disintegrated, it's gone. Internet is shut off, whatever. What, you're going to have a mental break because you can't read a book? You better have that scripture in your heart and you better have a solid prayer life with your Elohim. And you better have that imunah faith that knows that you can even take my whole library. You can take my Apocrypha. You can take my Bible. You can take every, you can strip everything away from me and I still will have everything in the most high Yah because you cannot destroy me and you cannot destroy the remnant of my seed. Amen. You cannot destroy the remnant of my seed. It's not going to happen. Amen. Amen. Trust in the most high. Trust in the most high. Hallelujah. Trust in the most high. Let's get in this. Let me keep going further. This is deep. Verse 35, he goes on to say, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Adonai. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and not, that he may open or they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants. I'll say it again. Blessed are those servants whom Adonai, when he comes, shall find watching. I'm going to say it again. Blessed are those servants whom Adonai, when he come, shall find watching. Verily, I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and he will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, go do some research on what is the first watch, what is the second watch. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, so doing what? Watching. Blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house 
had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be therefore ready also for the Son of Man coming at an hour which you think not. He going to come when you don't think he going to come. Kepha said unto him, Adonai, speak thou this parable unto us or even to us all. Adonai said, who then is that faithful and wise steward among you whom his Adonai shall make ruler over his household? to give them their portion of meat in due season. He responds back to Kepha. Who then is that faithful and wise steward? Steward, you steward over what's been provided to you to watch over in your life. Whom his Adonai shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Adonai when he comes shall find so doing. So doing what? Being faithful and wise and watching. Verse 44, of a truth I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. Now here we go. This is the part I want to get to. But, and if that servant say in his heart, what did I just say? But, and if that servant say in his heart, the one that's a steward over what the Most High has given him or her. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Adonai delayed his coming. My Adonai delayed his coming and shall begin to beat the men servants, the fellow men servants and maidens and to eat and drink and be drunken. Y'all hear this? But if that servant who is called to be a steward of what's been given to him by covenant, that steward that's supposed to be watchful and to pray, says in his heart, hey, he ain't coming back, man. Forever they be talking about he coming back. He ain't coming back. He, he delayed. He, he ain't coming right now. If he delayed his coming, and shall begin to beat the fellow men servants and maidens and to begin to eat and drink and be drunken. It goes on to say, the Adonai of that servant will come in a day when he looked not for him. You not looking, you not paying attention, you more caught up in what these heathens is doing. You might as well be a heathen the way you be sitting up on them like that. At an hour when he is not aware. Your Adonai is coming. Not their Adonai, your Adonai. You ain't going to hide from them. They're going to be like, come on to the house. You already know what time it is. You're not going to be able to hide amongst these heathens. It goes on to say, the Adonai of that servant will come in a day and when he looketh not for him at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with, somebody say it. Somebody say it. Say it loud. The unbelievers. <laughs> say it loud. Don't be scared. The unbelievers. Man, the unbelievers. I'm going to appoint you your portion with the, with unbelievers. the unbelievers. You might, that's what I'm saying. You might as well be out there in these streets with these, with these folks. You're not going to be on the fence and just be doing like, hey, it's a little drink and drink. It's all good. He ain't coming for a while. It's going to be a delay. He, in an hour, in a day, in an age when you aren't looking, you're not paying attention, you're not looking for your, for your Adonai. You're not even looking for your master. You're like, I ain't worried about all that. I'm trying to live my best life now. And listen, he's going to call you out from wherever you at, and you know what time it is. It says, and will appoint him his portion. You have a portion. You're going to have a portion with the unbelievers. Ooh-wee. Boy, oh boy. And that servant which knew his Adonai's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will. Oh, no. 
Who's not scared to read that? <laughs> Shall be beaten with many stripes. Oh, my goodness. And that Man. servant, which knew his Adonai's will, yet prepared not himself, neither did, neither did. You weren't obedient. Oh, you were sure. Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. Mm. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. Ooh, you're going to get more stripes than the wicked dude? <laughs> ooh, wait. Ooh, wait a minute. Do y'all get the revelation? Yes. That's not good, y'all. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. <laughs> oh, unbelievable! You knew better. Yes. Hey, you, you knew, knew like, better. Listen. You knew better. You, oh, we. That, that's a grandma whipping. Oh, worse. Listen, you telling me you gonna get a whooping worse than the wicked? Mm. You gonna get a beat down worse than the heathen? Because you knew better. They was just wicked out here. Didn't even know better. They they clue us in the mind. They out here wild and he ain't thinking about them. You're gonna be you're gonna get beat too, because you're out here doing the most, but you're not gonna get beat as much as the one, my servant, my steward, who's unfaithful, who did not do my will, even though he knew it, even though she knew it. Ooh, we that ooh, we boy, oh boy. Mm hmm Somebody read verse 48 for me, nice and loud. Mm -hmm. But he what? that knew not and did not commit things worthy of now, stripes. Read it, again. read it again. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required mm. and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more mm. Mm -mm. let that marinate for a minute mm. let that sit for minutes mm. Let that, let that resonate within you. That ain't for nobody else. That's for you. That's for you. That's for each and every one of you. That's not for nobody else. That is for you personally. Mm. Mm. You should always be thinking, am I doing the will of the most high Yah for my life? Or am I out here deceiving myself? Distracting myself, pretending like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. Ooh, wee, you knew better. You knew and you knew my will. Ooh, wee. Yeah, you went the you went the opposite direction. You did your own thing. You was with these folks, these wicked folks that's just wicked and literally don't know no better. They didn't know, and they've done things that have been worthy of some stripes, but they will be getting few stripes, whereas you will get many because you knew better. You knew, and you decided to be wicked anyway. Boy. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to transition. We're going to go to Zephaniah chapter 3, and then we'll be done about it here. Um, anybody have I'll take two or three of you that have any comments on what we just read so far. If you would like it. Nobody has nothing. You're still trying to digest that. We'll keep moving forward. I, All right, I, see, I don't see no hands. I'm, I'm going to be quick with oh. it. Who is yeah, it? Yeah. Oh, we got Marianne and Leon. I'll be y'all too. Go ahead. Marianne's first. There was a saying back in the day, 
You better check yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself. This is this is this is very powerful, you know. And a lot of us, you know, tend to think that we 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 got it all together. We 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 need to check ourselves. You know. Mm-hmm. Amen. Leon, go ahead, please. Yeah. Um. You know. You know, Moray. It was. It reminds me. I use an analogy. Um. Years ago, when I came into the truth, I remember I was trying to talk to this one brother about it. And, um, you know, just trying to get him to see who he is in scripture or who, or who we are in scripture. And, you know, he comes back, well, you know, well, why would God, you know, put us in slavery and, and, and have all that, you know, atrocities happen. And I, and I tell you more right now that I look back at it, it had to be the Ruach. Um, I remember I told my wife, she was all like, wow, I was like, I'm going to use that. I was like, you know, picture this, you know, picture you have your kids, right? And your kids want to have a sleepover and they want to invite the neighbor's kids, maybe even some friends from, from school and maybe even your, your, your cousins, you know, they all come over, right? They come to your house and you tell them, and your kids already know, Hey, you know, no writing on the walls. Mm. Don't be breaking nothing. Don't do this. Don't do that. You go to sleep. You wake up in the morning. TVs are broke. They've been painting and coloring on the walls. They done <laughs> tore up the pillows with knives and got everything everywhere. Right? So, you're going to say, okay, you know, even if you're your cousin or something, you know, well, you can discipline my kids if you want. You still ain't going to give them as worse as your own kids. Cause, oh, no, y'all knew better. Y'all knew my rules. Some of them, you're going to let some of them out the house with just, you know, I'm going to let your parents deal with you or you might give them a whack on their on their behind. But your kids, oh, y'all about to get it, you know, and then so that that's kind of what I, what I think about on this passage as well. Hey, man, very good. That is the truth for real. Let's get into this. Zephaniah chapter three. Let's get this breakdown going on, and then we will close out. I will give an opportunity for those of you that want to give a testimony at the end. We are at Zephaniah chapter 3. Uh, let me get another reader for Zephaniah chapter 3. Who would like to do that? Um, just go ahead and and uh, do that. Lindsay, go ahead. I, I see your hand raised. You have a question? Yeah, can I are read? read? Can I read? Yes, you can. Go ahead. Start okay. the first one. All right, chapter three, verse one. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppression city. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. Mm. She trusts not in Yahuwah. She drew not near to our Elohim. Mm. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones till tomorrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. The just Yahuwah is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do it, he bring his judgment to light. He fell not, but the unjust know it no shame. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste that none pass by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I said, surely you will fear me. You will receive instruction so that their dwelling should not be cut off. However, I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Mm. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says Yahuwah, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may what? assemble. Say again? My determination, My determination to do is to gather the nations mm -hmm. that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, mm. that they may all call upon the name of Yahuwah to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring my offering. Stop right there. And that that mm -hmm. right there says, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, or from beyond the rivers of Cush, my scattered ones, my scattered ones, that's what suppliants means, my scattered ones, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering my scattered ones and even their scattered children 
Keep going. Verse, verse 11. Mm. In that day shall you not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein you have transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of you them that rejoice in your pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my Kodesh mountain. Mm -hmm. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahuwah. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Say it again. Sing. Say again. Sing, Amen. O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Yahuwah has taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thy enemy. The king of Israel, even Yahuwah, is in the midst of thee. You shall not see evil anymore. In that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. Yahuwah, your Elohim, in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly, who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, Ooh, and I will save please. her that halted and gather her that was driven out. And I will give get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Read that, that 19 time, again. Read that, read that 19 again. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. And at that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says Yahuwah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on now. Hey, man. That's it. End of lesson. We're done. Amen. Amen. That's a serious mic drop right there. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. What I'm talking about. Hey, job readers. Come on now. Amen. 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 That's it. That's it. That's mm. all. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to leave y'all with that, and you have to really understand because it's a matter of it doesn't matter what the wicked plot, scheme, try to do. It don't matter about no earthquake. It don't matter about no famine. It don't matter about no warfare. Right. It don't matter about what they try to do, these wicked folks try to do. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. you shall see the salvation at the hand yeah. of your Elohim on this earth. You are moving. not running out you. nowhere scared running. Mm -hmm. I got to save myself. Mm -hmm. Morey, I got, we got to run, Morey. We got to mm -hmm. save ourselves. <laughs> no, the Most High Yah says, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna deal with y'all. Everywhere you've been scattered, my scattered ones, and the children, the remnant, the seed of my scattered mm. ones, mm. shall be saved, shall mm. be redeemed, and they shall see yes. the salvation of their Elohim yeah. with wow. their own eyes." Mm. Mm. Hey, the revolution yeah. will be televised. Hey, Amen. <laughs> hey, 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 Comments. My chain. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what you're talking about. You know what it is. 
<laughs> you go, you better, you better Lord. figure something out. Because when you get called up by the most high, yeah, you got a record. So these folks can demon seed themselves out. They can create demonic AI robots. They can do all the things, <laughs> all the trick bag and whistles. <laughs> At the end of the day, the most high reign supreme. And his oh, children man. shall see mm. salvation. Amen. Amen. Every day. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. So let it be. So let it be established. Amen. We thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The reading of your word. Thank you. Yes. You are faithful. Yes. Who has said it? Hallelujah. You are faithful. And we put our trust in faith, our imana in you. We know you got us as long as we keep our heart and mind stayed on him and his will and purpose for our life. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. I'm done. For those of you that want to go ahead and give a uh, edifying testimony, um, please do so now. Raise your hand and then we will get off out of here. Those of you watching online, please give me a, a like, a share, and subscribe if you would like more of this content. My sister Felina and my sister Winnie, you will be the two that I will call upon, and then we will get up out of here. Go ahead. I appreciate you. I just want to say Torah to Abiyah for answering prayers. I have been praying to him, asking him to give me some time alone with him away from home. And he has answered that. I you probably see in the background, I am not in my home. I'm at my daughter's house. He's afforded me three weeks to house sit for her, to be away so that I could spend quality time with him and seek his face. And I've been praying for this. So I give him all praise and honor. And I look forward to what he is going to instruct me on my next step in my life. Amen. I stand in agreement with that too. Uh, may all that you desire be made manifest. Amen. Amen. Praise yeah. My sister Winnie, go ahead, please. Yes, I just want to uh, give all praises to the most high uh, in regards to uh, the conversation last week that I had uh, with my family. Uh, I, I, I just thank you for your prayers. The Most High is doing an amazing, amazing work right now. Uh, I, just, I have this joy deep down in my soul. Amen. And just, I mean, you know, he's working. He was working this. This is something I, I would have never been able to do myself, but he is, this deliverance has just been, it's just been beautiful. I can't even explain it because the Most High is, dealing with me on my level and he is showing me how there is nothing impossible for him. He can do all things. I give him the glory. It's just right here. And I, I praise him. I thank him. I, I am very thankful for your prayers as well. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 All right, Mrs. McAdevil, you'll be the last one. Go ahead and jump on in and then we'll get out of here. Hey, Amor, uh, I just have a song to share. Can you go on my page? I just uploaded it. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. I can't sing. Thought you were going to rap, sister. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. nah. <laughs> some, some spoken word. <laughs> All right. Give nah, me a second. Nah. It's like trailer music, and I'm just chanting like war crimes. Actually, what kind of music? I don't want to get my stuff jacked up. Trailer. No, song. no trailer music. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hold on. I'm going to get you, but you know what I'm saying? I'll take one for the team. I I'll take one for the team. Trail music. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joy Lester got, got me banned last time. She was like, hey, <laughs> you played my song. No, it was tune core. I'm messing, but I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. Too. I said, "What happened?" Mm -hmm. <coughs> Almost there. Hallelujah. Woo! Praise y'all for the rich word. That yeah, was good. <laughs> <laughs>
Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. It's a good send off. Got it, got it, got it. Let's see. Where are we at? All right. So, like I said, I'm going to close out in a brief prayer and play the song, and then we're going to get off out of here. So, first and foremost, haven't heard the song yet, but I greatly appreciate you, Destiny, for sharing the song with us. And um, um, let's go ahead and do this. I think I'm good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. So, again, um, may the most high bless you and keep you. I do greatly appreciate all that you all um, do. And I appreciate your prayers. All right. And again, I'm, I'm very, very grateful and thankful um, for the Shabbat fellowship. I pray that it's been a blessing to you as well. Please get some rest and some uh, just have shalom. Have that time with the most high. Be sure to pray. It's important to read the scriptures. But make sure you're also spending that quality time in prayer so you can be in tune with his voice when you need it the most. All right. So praise you. Smack a devil square pants. That's funny. <laughs> Amen. Mrs. Smack a devil. Okay. Smacking all devils. All right, I need some lyrics. What was you whispering? <laughs> I can understand it. I need, I need some I need some lyrics. Oh, you got I was lyrics? Saying, I was saying if he is for us, who could be against us? And then I forgot the other thing. But yeah. <laughs> hey man. She was flowing yeah. in the moment. Hey, that's, that's why it was she a war remember. cry. It was a war cry. Good yeah. job. Okay. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Blessings to you all. Get some good rest.
Bashalom. Bashalom, everybody. Bashalom. 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 Bashal